And away we go. Oh. Hi there. Okay. I'm Dustin. Technical alert. <laughs> um, today we're going to mess with some games. Yeah, I see it. It's like all I see from everybody. I don't know. Uh, I can lower it a little more for you. Sorry. Help. Feel a little front like. Oh, there's some other. Oh, it's that stupid. Stupid crap under the couch. Couch crap. Oh, there it goes. <clears throat> I feel like it's even more of an affront now that it's closer to my face, but I'll make do. Help. Okay. SOS. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna mess with some game stuff, I guess. Um, wow. I'm still. <laughs> I don't think the frame necessarily needs to be taller, but nobody needs to see the top of my head. I mean, just scoot the chair down a little. Doesn't then I'll be further does away from the keyboard. Does it not have an adjustment? Uh, I think it's just the chair is as low as it'll go. So uh, okay. maybe not. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, that's as low as it'll go. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, hey there. We're here. Wow. Change stuff up a little bit here. Um, I think it's going to be a good thing for the most part. Uh, I've got a new microphone over here. <clears throat> Lighting situation's a little different. There's a cat being obnoxious. I mean, that's not, that hasn't changed. That's a constant. And we're going to work on some game stuff for at least a little while. Wow. So, uh, to start off with, let me slide this mouse over here just to keep it out of my way. Grab this other one. So, yeah, how often do you think you're going to mix up the mic? Well, not uh, anymore now because I moved it on the other shelf. But uh, I think. Try on confusion. All right, so we've got this document, which I have not done as much as I said I would have, honestly. But um, I did uh get to this at least a version of changing the level size up a little bit for the frog boss. Okay. So I'm gonna show you that. And we'll see what you think. And wow. I have some concerns already, but we'll see how that plays out. I only have concerns. Because uh, I'm just not sure how much of an issue it's going to be. So I left here. I'll show you. Basically what I did here, I'll pause at the scene for a second, is... Um... It's going to be forever to zoom out. Unity hates scrolling. Yeah, I just realized after using... Uh, starting to learn... Clip Studio a little bit uh -huh. yesterday that there's not a zoom slider. At least not that I see, unless it's like hidden, I don't know how to enable it oh, or whatever. Oh, I, I thought you meant in Clip Studio for a second. No, in and Unity. Like, in U there, Unity. There's like thousands of them. And, and honestly, a, mo a more modern version of Unity might have it. This mm -hmm. one doesn't. Um, at least not to my knowledge. Uh, so here's the scene as it is. I left the entrance and exit pipes where they were because uh -huh. they were connected to the old scene yeah. and I basically just disabled mm -hmm. it all. It's still in the scene. I didn't delete it. Mm -hmm. Um... This is the new one. Mm -hmm. But a thing I wanted to show you, I don't even... I, this should be visible from... Uh, that's... No, it's this one, I think. Yeah. I mean, it's the disabled one. So if you look at the size of this, this appears to have been custom sized. Yeah, it's, all of them were. Oh, okay. I didn't I were. didn't expect that. I, this is, I think this is the only one I've actually changed the arena with. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, so what I have here is obviously not quite as wide as the original one was because it's not one to one with the tile sizes necessarily, mm -hmm. um, which may be fine. Although my concern with this is that if you are in a corner and he jumps at you, he might push you out of the scene, which is fine because we can also just make it wider. Like we can just make it one tile wider than it is now. It might have to be two to keep him centered, right? Well, we can make it one tile wider and just recenter it. We, I don't, I guess, I just don't want to move them. Well, I have, I, I, we don't have to move them to do that, because I did, I experimented with it yesterday. I haven't moved for, moved the frog once. It's just, if we make it a tile wider here, just scoot everything what over a happened? little bit. Does he keep animating correctly? Yeah, because I didn't move him. I thought you said you moved him once. No, I didn't move him once. You said, I moved the frog once, so. No, I haven't moved, I haven't concerned. moved him at all. Uh... Can he push you out? I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. I, like... I finished remembering how to, um, well, first I, I 
started putting the tile map out, and then I saw that it was different, and then I was like puzzled by it for a second, and then I just kind of rolled with it. Um, so I got that far, and then I then like after the fact, I thought, well, I wonder if that's a thing that could happen. So let's find out together. <laughs> Sit over here. Maybe not. It's so not his, 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 his collider isn't that large, I guess. No, it's more round than anything else. Okay, that might work. And I'm not sure how, because I don't think he's actually getting force applied to him like most other uh -huh. um, yeah. like we'll the, have to... the chaser guys or anything, because it's their force that pushes you out. Mm -hmm. And he's being moved by the animator, not by physics. So I bet it's just okay. displacing you because he is a yeah, solid. Like he's a rigid that, body. He's a solid collider. That might be okay. Honestly, I think I'll just leave I it think as the a... thing. If you go like fully perpendicular to the wall, like flush up against it or parallel to like the wall, that? sorry. I think that's the closest part. Yeah, oh, it didn't the... even look like he pushed you that far because yeah. he's rounded. He's not a square. Uh -huh. So I think you're getting like pushed along. Yeah, like, like you just kind of squish between the flat surface of the wall and his rounded you. curved yeah. edge. Because Marta's also circular, right? I don't Maybe. Probably not. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. I mean, I guess it matters a little. But, like. I would just go flat, go flush against, as flush against the wall as you can. Like this? No, flush. Like that. that. Okay, I'm just so stay that like way. that when he comes uh -huh. over. I want to see. But also, like, I know that it's corners that was always the biggest problem. That's where more people were getting pushed out than along flat sides. And he doesn't seem... He's got, like, a, a empty area. Um... Mm -hmm. In his, like by his foot, where the corner is, so I don't think it's gonna be an issue. Hey, Colette. Oh. What? I'm not sure what's going on. If I'm like stuck in the geometry or something. Oh, never mind. I just touched the wrong key because I'm stupid. <laughs> Help! I'm trapped. Help! I'm stupid. <laughs> uh -huh. Help! I am stupid. <laughs> Not like I'm with stupid. Yeah. Well, the the thing is, the keyboard controls they work like ninety percent good, but they do um. I love ninety percent good. They cancel out in weird ways if you're pushing, sometimes two or three different keys at once, because you can't do that with a joystick, right? Like it can only be left or right. It can't be like both. <laughs> oh, that's what you mean, opposite. Yeah. Right. So like, if I hold like left and right together, for example, it goes left. It just chooses one. Uh, which I think is probably just a tree of decision making that decides yeah. like which thing you did, but but like on a joystick you couldn't be doing, you know, mm -hmm. a left and right input simultaneously. Uh, okay, let's go to the other corner. Although he's gonna kill me real soon. But uh, like I said, I tried to eyeball. The spacing should be pretty similar. I mean, it looks like it. They look identical. Uh, Bob, you're not in the shot. Time. Will you come in the shot? But other than that, so the other thing is just like, what's your opinion on this? What do you think of it relative to the bigger arena? I mean, it feels really claustrophobic. I'm just not, like, we'll have to see more. Okay. I don't think that's a bad thing. Because I... Um, like, you can't I, even, like, really I, initially, I agree with you. I think it feels smallish, but I kind of like it that way. I at least really like that Um, you can technically avoid him by just going up to the top of the tank, but just barely. But you can also always see where he is, mm -hmm. which is... uh. Because if I did the change this up on any of the other ones, it would probably be I'd um maybe bring the ceiling down on the garbage disposal a bit so you can more easily see him when you're at the top of the tank. Um, you just have to watch his arm length. Yeah. Because again, uh -huh. those are animated like the frog is animated. Right. Um. Yeah. But um. Uh, like I said, I, uh, on its face, I like it. Uh, we'll have to. We can experiment with a little bit as we keep kind of iterating. Now, offhand, I don't dislike. If it. I like try to push myself out while he pushes me. Like I said, mm. corners are what you want if you really want to get out. Those were always the getting like stuck by like three or four chaser okay. groups in a corner is what would generally. I thought we also kind of fixed most of that. Uh, we definitely addressed it a little. I'm sure it can still happen. But... Sure. But All right. Okay. It was That's... never a very... Um... Well, I'm going to load that up again just to look at the level again, but uh, I'm pretty pleased with that outcome. Wow, well, we haven't seen this background in a long time. Yeah, that outcome is... Uh... I'm not mad at it. Okay. It looks so much creepier with the really dark wood background. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I kind of dig this. 
because uh, it do, it do, like this by default. I do think my opinion right now is that it, it remedies the thing I disliked most about uh, this fight without changing anything about him. It just makes him more of a threat because you can't just like stay like so far away from him that he's literally not even a presence in your eye line. <laughs> like he's uh he's kind of always in your face to some degree with a level this big. Um, so I don't know. I'm kind of into it so far. <laughs> Now has like big Krakemeyer energy. <laughs> um, do you have any other thoughts on this before we kind of either talk about some other stuff or do one or two things? Um, uh, not offhand, I don't think. Okay, I think as far as other stuff today, we can maybe have some more conversations about what we want to do next, and maybe try to get him to um to just like admit emit a game object um because uh, where we landed on the bubbles is that i'm gonna pause this for a minute um you could also just stop it i don't think there's any i like seeing frog <laughs> you can stay on screen <laughs> um right we left with the bubbles right is that they're basically gonna um like if nothing else they can control their own motion whatever that is right whether it's like directly coming out of him or just kind of floating up to the ceiling or whatever sure uh, i guess i mean i'm assuming that's where most of those phys that physics yeah and lie. if i dig into the um are we ready? if i were to straight up steal the ones from cucumber that are used in the atticus fight um i think those do that i don't think they're like um don't they just bounce off well they have i think they have like <laughs> do you have a cucumber executable on your computer could we just like check i could load up i could load up the project i don't have a build of it um oh. we'll do that maybe another time uh or i'll have to do it on my own time just to refresh my memory but um do we have some on YouTube? there's probably on yeah one of those trailers i think has a minute i'm not sure if it has the bubbles in it but uh but i think they kind of um I think they have, like, maybe just, like, a starting, like you said, a starting velocity upwards, and then maybe they just, like, bounce off of angles and they, when they collide with stuff. It's hard to remember, but, but I'm, but I'm fairly certain that they, uh, their momentum, their propulsion comes from within the logic of themselves, not from the thing that is, like, not from the doors or whatever where they come out of. Mm -hmm. Um, so with that in mind, like, we can take any random object in down the drain and you know just make a frog spit it out because a game object's a game object if we do that this afternoon just as one more little thing to do so and then later the Atticus fight uh, later we can swap in whatever game objects he'll actually be spitting out once we have those uh, you know together um look at that cat she's just in the corner hanging out You tell him, Colette. You tell him about cleaning up. Oh. <laughs> um. Bye. Kind of being on the opposite side. <laughs> Gotta yeah. love it. Wait, this is you. The one I was wondering about there. was I thinking about um this round buddy come on no it's fine don't worry about it like I said, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I just need to boot that up and check it out for myself. Mm -hmm. But, um... Uh, anyway. Oh, Colette is just in my butt. Mm -hmm. Um...
another thought I had had of uh, so we've got these descriptions of um uh, the way his hitbox is currently works whatever when he when you attack him mm -hmm. um and I thought about this again too and I thought what if we sl split the difference slightly on this where um even more so where uh so we still leave his belly as his only vulnerable weak spot mm -hmm. pretty much all the time so you can hit that and whenever if the opportunity presents and then just give him another larger trigger that um that is a actually his entire body that's a only active while he's croaking because uh, because what we sort of described here which mostly lines up with the conversation i think we had a few weeks ago was that um one of the options we could have floated was that it, it would be this way except even his own belly would only be vulnerable when croaking uh, what do you think of that i thought part of the reason that we were going to keep him only vulnerable while croaking was to help mitigate some of the weird um kind of mess ups well that's true too the animations but that's another that really just depends like that that problem can be solved with two ways so actually i guess i'm kind of fine with it either way because we can either solve that problem by um only letting him be damaged while he's in a cro croaking stationary state or uh by only having him react with like the little hit effect he has while he's in like a croaking stationary state because if we don't change his state but still deal him damage while he's you know moving or whatever that's basically fine like it's not mm -hmm. uh, um it solves the same problem of like it doesn't interrupt uh, the like animation loop of his logic or whatever in the same way the only thing that maybe it won't that's a thing we'll have to test obviously no i'm just thinking about how he moves because i'm pretty sure he doesn't flip his colliders until he stops well does he even flip them at all because i thought he had one of each i thought he had just a thing on his left and his right Here, let's they're look different it. they're positioned differently from what i remember one is more on his they're not like two halves they're like the x and y buttons on the gamecube controller they just zoom in you can see it if you zoom in see they're weird because he's well he's punched forward so they're different uh, well it's just a water okay yeah well it's so hard to see because he's green <laughs> uh -huh. it basically follows like the and that's the attack point no nope, nope. why don't you move that not that it would matter when i'm really see i think they're just on him is the thing and there's the weak spot so it's like, literally, if you look, it's partway to, through his mouth, all the way down, kind of in a teardrop, to the bottom of the yellow. It's basically all yellow is the weak spot, but not quite the entirety of the mouth. Mm -hmm. And then if you click on the top layer again, like just all click on him, the parent or whatever, that whole thing, it's like all back, like over his head, down his back not quite the point of the leg i think it cuts right down there kind of in his foot a little bit and like fills in the rest of the space that's not the weak point maybe even cuts through it it's hard to tell exactly because he is in fact green you might be able to just if you click off the sprite renderer you might be able to see it better that way over on this the inspector there you go okay thank you um and so like you said, the weak spot the is weak just spot that is chunk. That. Oh, stop it. It's on a, a back collider. There you go. So that's the non-hit spot. Mm hmm Because I wanted to make it look like you could see... Um, where on him... Yeah. Like, I wanted it to... The bubbles themselves to interact in a believable way. 
So the other thing we could do with this, which like I said, I'm still in favor in favor of for hit detection reasons, just because the I feel like the his engine is a little less finicky about it. Is um checking for hits on triggers only, pretty much. Um, so we could even just um like we could leave all of this as his physical form and just put on like a like another smaller like trigger. But it's just maybe even just like a circle that bulges out of here a little bit or something. It's something to think about. I'm not going to say we'll do it for sure, but. Um. And the only thing that is, that matters for the physical form is that back collider. Well, this has mass, like, well, I don't know. Mass is the wrong word because that technically means something else. But this is collidable as well, right? Like Marta can't like, this is technically. No. I mean, if you're so if you're going to do that, I would say fill out the back collider, just make it his body, and then add the weak spot as a separate thing as opposed to having all three of them. I mean, we could do that, too. We could do kind of whatever. Although, like you said, these... These do, in fact, change a little bit, right? As he animates, so we probably don't want to mess with them. Because you said like this I was mean, a little different. they literally or... just invert their transform. Um... But didn't he change a little when he was, like, leaning or whatever? Is that no, not different? He was, his sprite wasn't lined up with it, but you can't attack him during that point in time. Okay. So you're, it, you're saying that these don't change during that? No, they don't okay. move. Like, they're not fluid animating colliders. That's insane. Well, no, that's not what I'm suggesting, but they could be different. They could actually just be different geometry when he's in a different shape. Not, yes. not that they, like, would flow into, like, completely linear... Like, I mean, they wouldn't match up with his... Sprite is what you're asking. Right. Because um, like the 2D toolkit supports that too. Not that like, like again, not that like the individual, you know, corners of the polygon like shape themselves into the new shape, like the fucking Terminator or whatever, but <laughs> but you can go from one frame instantly to a different frame that's just an absolutely different polygon if you want to. Um, and I'm assuming Unity supports the same thing if you structure it a certain way. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I don't know that for sure. Um, but anyway, um, okay. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll think about that for, for a second. Cause you turn his sprite back on so we don't oh, it won't, wonder it, why. It won't matter because I'll just start this anymore. Does it not save it? Shouldn't. It shouldn't save anything when you're running the game. Cool. Yeah, it doesn't save stuff when you are running the game and you just change random stuff in the editor. Okay. Colliders are just based on being stationary. I don't believe they are ever changed in size, position, or shape. Um, but they are, like I said, their horizontal transforms are flipped uh -huh. to fit the sides of his body. Yeah. Same with the um, the chomp and area collider. It just gets inverted. Okay. But he has left and right spawn points um, that are literally just spaces. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a point reference. Yeah. Okay. And it's for, like, the tongue. Yeah. The other thing I like about that, uh, the, the trigger thing, which doesn't really matter in this fight because he doesn't move more than he really already moves. Um, but it makes it very easy to, um, if you want to change the, the collidable area of an enemy on the fly, uh, it makes it really easy to sprinkle just a bunch of really basic shapes onto a thing, like on different game objects, and then you can just kind of turn them on and off um, manually if you need to, uh, as stuff changes. And without changing their physical collision area, you can make the, the collision area of, like, attacks more uh, variable with, with, with just using triggers without changing their, like, shape. But, um, yeah, that should all be... I'll think about it again. I'm not gonna, I'm not committed to that right now. It's not like something that has to be done, so I'm not going to necessarily worry about it. But um. All right. Uh and with all that said, let's go back into Do you remember where I'm going to stop this for a second. You really should stop it. All right, I'm going to stop that. He's built stuff while it's running and he gets really mad. I'll drag this over to the screen for a moment. Bye. Um do you remember what his scripts are called? Frog, 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 frog something like there's a whole folder of frog scripts in there if that's what you're looking for.
Back collider controller, main controller. That's probably a good place to start. Hey, didn't you have most of them open in? I don't remember. Anyway. I don't remember. Because yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. I I don't I don't remember that. Oh, that's come on. Yeah. All right, we're gonna. Uh... Look at all these. Is it sh shift scroll? No. What are you looking for? I'm trying to zoom in. Like I know there's the. Mm -hmm. POV, you are a, you are an elderly person looking <laughs> at a text on <laughs> a your phone. A video game. That's right. Uh, I made a video game where you're an elderly person looking at text on your phone. I'm sure that already exists. Probably. Um, Grandparent texting simulator. Okay, there's the chomp. And this is proximity based, right? Like you have to kind of be near him for him to do this, I think. I mean, it's in his, like. Because we looked at that. Thing. He knows it after he pokes. Oh, it's right there. You're in, on the same You're side. The same the side. He might do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Because even this, again, like talking minimum touch. Um. Because he's even already got, um, here you go, open that scene. Pull the movie editor back over there for a second. Come on. Yeah. Um, he's already got the, like, those, like, emitter or target spots, right? Yeah, the are, the the attack points. Those are literally just points. But I'm saying that those are sufficient for like is that where the tongue comes from? Yes, it instantiates it. Uh, we can do the same thing with stuff that stays in the scene. Yes. Um. So. I don't know why you would do something else. <clears throat> that just seems redundant. Oh, I'm saying the work is already done. So the work is already done. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Dragging something very mad. Pull the code back over here. I'm good. Um, Let's see. Here, I'll put the code back on. I don't know why I'm dragging everything around so much. Uh, where's the tongue attack? I would have expected it to be right near the chomp attack. Mm. There it is. Literally right okay, above right here. it. Another random dice roll. Let's just start the animation, I guess, because I'm not as familiar with the Unity animation mm -hmm. calls. Uh, noise. Turn off weak spot. Uh, checks the sign. Gonna go over this for a sec. This in the future. Uh, oh, oh god, it just really burped there for a second. What have you done? <laughs> um. What's the difference between these calls? One's on the right, one's on the left. But, but why is that? Hmm. You can go scroll down. See if there's. It said this code was longer. Oh, I guess I don't actually. Hmm. I think it's just a. I'm not sure where that. Ran. Oh, angled. Okay, so it's just a bool that. That must mean up or down. I was misinterpreting. I thought that was part of like the coaching call for some reason because I just was reading it weird. Okay, so that's just like this. That that coin toss is just like he either does it this way or this way. Okay, that's fine. Um, so that's not really relevant to what we're doing here in a second. We're gonna steal all this. Oh, I did 
Okay, I did, I, I'm gonna turn this keyboard off. <laughs> I didn't use the other mouse, but I did use the other keyboard. I don't think I'd have messed up anything on the stream. Everything looks fine. Uh, this is what happens now that I have two PCs in front of me. I have too much power. <laughs> He's coding. He's coding. Uh, there. That's the right enter key. It's the other one. <laughs> um. Oh, did I not get the other game object thing? I thought it did. Apparently not. Come here. Nope. Not in there. Okay. Um obviously this isn't going to be the tongue. Uh I'll just have to make it something else. Uh right now I'll just make it something new. Is the tongue only references a game objects in here? It sure is. Uh, type for shit. Maybe she used the other keyboard. Uh-uh. <sighs> Let's just call it for now. No, right. Classy. Um, like I said, I'm just going to find some random thing. It could just be the mines, or it could be anything. It doesn't fucking matter right now. I'm just going to find some random thing to attach to that. Um... I mean, if you're going to do... The only thing is, if you take the mines as they are, they already have, like, stuff on them. Yeah, like I said, it's not, I'm gonna, it'll be technically something more different. I'm just saying, if you did that, because we're going to use them anyway, and just put, like, a game object parent to them, you could then put all that code in the parent and not touch the mind code at all. If you wanted to mess with it and still have the mind theme. Um, give me one second. Let me finish typing. Okay. Um, we'll have to run this and see how it actually works, but in your mind, do you think there should be a different pause between like should he uh like start animating have a slightly shorter pause like should we take part of the second and put it up here <laughs> before the thing comes out mm. i mean look at use chomp attack which is a different uh coroutine in the chomp area if you want to see how long that time is steal this and just uh, like comment it out up there for now uh, oh this is like all the way at the top or no that's just a different script different never script. mind uh, okay so I'm gonna like tentatively put that here we, so maybe we'll put like something like that in there we'll see how that works okay um, so let's build that thinking it'll be fine we'll see <laughs> fingers fucking crossed did you make the game object public i think so i think you did Neat. yes okay. get on him It's thinking. There's a little okay. floaty guy in the bottom. There it is. Where'd they go? Um, right there. Okay. Um, and then just like I said, tell me you want me to put the mine on. You want me to I put mean, something else? You could. Else? It's got a script on it. Where are the mines? Uh, Hazard. Wait. Hazards. I'm assuming under enemies. Where is it? Right there. Mm. Okay. Gonna oop, save it. Come back. And then switch to this one. 
That should be interesting. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> it's going to do something. <laughs> I'm wildly changing code. All right, I'm just going to kind of hang out over here. Okay, so we definitely want a little bit of delay on that. <laughs> but it did come out. Because it is still working with the chomp attack uh -huh. thing. Oh, he did it while croaking, too. That was weird. No, he, he chomps he, after he chomp croaks. He's just... He's he does the chomp so fast compared to those. Oh, that's or so much slower than those is the thing. Uh huh. So you will want to delay before they're spawned if you want it to flow in any way. That. <laughs> <laughs> you could even try just putting that thirty-five. <laughs> I'm gonna blow gonna up. All I'm gonna blow up. <laughs> act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> Kaboom. Too many mines. I wonder if the mines work differently than the enemy contact. Because I thought Their I shouldn't have taken that much damage. If you're not close to them. No, but I thought, like, I'm not sure. Maybe the... I felt like I had implemented, like, a pretty stringent cooldown on Mardo where you could only take damage every, like, X. Mm -hmm. Well, you are you had, like, five mines there. Well, sure. What I'm saying is I expected the first one to hit and then for her to be, like, potentially invulnerable enough that any subsequent mines would not have hurt her. Blew the other one away. I guess it depends on. I guess it depends on kind of when you trigger their oh, no, explosions. Because they don't trigger each other, right? They're ju oh, all just. Interesting. Oh, because of the well, that he's standing on the mine. That so won't. That shouldn't be a problem if they. He see, well, he seems to be okay. If they move away from him. <laughs> um, um, but again, also, I don't think any of the projectiles fine. he emits should collide with him. Actually, probably. Period. So. Um. Actually, we can let's make all those notes now. Just like uh... <laughs> um, flip. Where's my yeah, text? Right here. Okay. Uh... Can't you just set that on, like, a physics layer thing? Yeah, so we could do either, technically. Like I said, I I usually just prefer to use, uh, like, triggers for that stuff unless it absolutely has to have mass. But, but like, the, the ones in Cucumber have both because, obviously, when the bubbles hit walls, they collide with those. So, yeah, that's we can do that. Uh, just put that as, like, a sub. Because the other thing is, um, if we just stop him longer in that coroutine... They'll have time to move out of the way, and if he just bops them with his head, that's not the biggest deal, I don't think. Yeah, okay. Um, all right. That's fine. But yeah, you're right. We should be able to just, as long as we make sure that everything's on the right physics layers, it shouldn't matter. It should be fine. Um, okay, well, that worked. They're out there, and they're, and they're still, again, this is perfect, exact, 100%. This is basically like a full loop test of what we wanted to try, because they're... Both coming out of him pretty much as expected, and uh, their internal logic is still functioning fine. Like, they still do exactly the thing they're supposed to do, independent of any logic in the level. All right, awesome. Uh, so let's let's turn that either that delay on or a slightly different delay and see how that looks, just out of curiosity. Now I gotta go back down. You're literally That's in it. Right. You're That's literally right here. Alright, let's see what that looks like. Um, although, actually, now do you, with this in mind, do I want to shave this off, probably? Like, take these 35 seconds away from this? I don't know. I'd say we just, let's just wait and see. Okay. I don't think we should change too many things at once without... Uh, so I feel like this is gonna... The, way, the way you said the other... Stuff with his animators work. I feel like this is going to kind of force everything out of sync a little bit, but we'll find out. 
I mean, he might just sit there longer. Like, I don't think well, that would, necessarily... that would definitely be fine. Like, that's not a big deal. Let's see what happens. Come at me, bro. That's okay, that's much delay. better. Like, wow. That was, like, well, perfect. That makes sense, though, because it's... Like, it should just sync up with, like... It was basically synced up with the hitbox. Like, mm -hmm. that's what it was... The other delay was supposed to do. That was a little... Yeah, like, see, there's something up with that transition. That's not quite right. Because that one's perfect. So that's, like... Well, because it's not... Um, I'm pretty sure it's not... I don't know if it's yeah, that's wonderful. Different. Oh, that's so good. I mean, if you just take off the chomp after the croak, I think that's that'll solve that problem perfectly. Uh-huh. I don't know if it's just calling a different coroutine or if it's just slightly different. Yeah, but it looks uh, like otherwise it's working fine because mm -hmm. we were kind of seeing that before anyway. All right, well, that's that's solid. Oh, that's so good. Okay, awesome. All right, so let's make a note of that too. Uh, I mean, just go go into the script really quick. The script, Visual Studios. Find the croaking. Sub or whatever. Even if I keep searching for chomp attack, right? It'll be not that one. That See, one. I don't remember. So, so I... it should be that. So I don't know why it's not following that completely. Why it's being weird. Just like I said, literally just comment out the chomp from there and I think we'll be fine. Because it does it was just kind of like an added thing anyway. And yeah. if we're gonna change what croaking like if that is the main, like you're gonna take do damage to him, then he doesn't need to do that. Oh, I spell croaking. It's literally there in like three <laughs> different times. Croaking. I, I enumerate croaking. Set animation trigger croak. Croaking sounds false. <laughs> I don't know how else I can help you. Um. The other thing I really just want to change about that is, like I said, I think we can leave everything about that exactly as is except change the logic for when he does it to be more frequent so right now he can only do it if you're on the same side as him mm -hmm. which made more sense yeah when it was just an attack that could only touch you if you were right next to him but i think i just think we want to change the, the logic to make it so that he can oh that's no good no, oh it's because he doesn't transition into a different oh right yeah <laughs> well that's that's fine we can fix that <laughs> look how he's just chilling he's just hanging he's out vibing. yeah he's just vibing you might be able to hurt him I bet I can get hurt by him. You might be able to hurt him. I wonder if that Probably would shake it loose. Ha ha! <laughs> He's like, whoa, wait, what was I doing? <laughs> Fuck! All right. <laughs> You're here. Ah, <laughs> uh, company. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's probably if we just give him like a jump instead. Yep. Although, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it breaks the co-routine train. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay. I'd say cricket noises, but he's a frog. Cricket noises don't make sense. Um, well, let's see what happens, because a jump might have the same... It might just be something else we need to fiddle with, where um, a jump might have the same kind of jarring... Like, it just might look crazy because of some weird way between... That right now the the croak and the like other animations are kind of segueing into just each other. Just literally copy start coroutine jumping and see if that does it. It's literally right there, at the bottom of this scene you're in right now. Go down there. Just take that, put it a croak, and see what happens. M. There you go. <laughs> you had it for a second, backspaced, and then you froze like him. Let's see what happens. Quiet, chill out. Okay. 
I'm such a bad cat. No. No idea how frequently wait for him to croak. So yeah. it's hard to say. Well, you're really not playing ball right now, my friend. Nope. He crawls, he can't play ball. There you go. Okay, that worked fine. Alright. Okay. Alright, good shit. That's awesome. Making pile. <laughs> blip. Oh no, not blip. Bang. <laughs> All right, that's great. That's a lot of fun. Man, it's nice to see things work <laughs> as opposed to the opposite of that. Um, not work. Yeah. Uh, Hi, Bub. Hey, Bubberino. Uh, let me run the scene again. Do you have any other thoughts right now? I, I am tentatively comfortable with. Um, moving the pipes back in and kind of calling it a day here with the smaller thing for now and then if we st decide to go back we still can i'll even make a note of where their like current positions are right now so it's like four percent less tenuous to put them back if we decide to go back to the other shape um like i'll just save it off somewhere couldn't you just duplicate them in the scene and just disable probably them? that would probably work well, oh, yeah, let's do that. Uh huh. I think we, that's fine because the, there's already that other. There's already the old yeah. deprecated boss. It's not even boss. It's just a. The one that's deprecated is a boss exit pipe, but it's deprecated because the exit pipe is now standardized across both types mm -hmm. of levels. That, that's in the scene and disabled. So you're right. I'll just do that because there's no reason that shouldn't work. Um, in fact, let's do it right now. Wow. Uh, uh meowsing. How's it going, Chloe? All right. Man, that zoom is... I do think it's part of the, the, my muscles quick wheel. is kind of stupid, but it's still annoying. Okay. Uh... All right, entrance pipe. There you are. Okay, let's give a copy and a paste. Um... Entrance pipe one can be the old one, I guess. Regular ass entrance pipe. You're you're in the big leagues now, baby. Wow. Um, do you think I should change this anymore? To no. make it smaller, make it longer. I don't think it matters. It, it doesn't is. matter functionally. <laughs> just to like how how much like visual lead in do you want to like uh, getting into the tank? I don't care. I mean, we can always as long as we keep like that entrance point mm -hmm. the same. We could change the in between yeah do you know the only thing like the only thing that determines where martyr starts in the scene is where she is right like yep. wherever i leave her okay mm -hmm. so we just gotta scoot her over with it uh -huh. i mean if you move it like that i think she's gonna get moved by the collider <laughs> i don't know if that'll do anything or not no, it yeah doesn't. see i, I don't think it, it does did. anything but you move that way too far down i'll get there it's not lined up on the left or right i'll, I'll get there now we're gonna get really in there. It's gonna take forever. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Just work with me. This is where you use the actual position on yeah. the inspector. Just grab the no, just grab the edge and you can slide it. I can change the number pad. See that's too much. There you go. It's about right. Basically right? Yep. it needs to be over a little bit more. Back to the um And do you an 8.5? There you go. Perfect. Okay. Come in there. That's 6. No, like 6. Like 20.6. 1. 6.1? Or did that go farther? No, I think that was farther up. Cause 5 seven, then. 7 is even five. farther. 4.9. Or 0.49. There you go. Okay. Oh, no, it's not connected. 
it's yeah it's the rendering thing is or is it go zoom in even closer like get it as close as humanly possible keep going oh, okay that does work better i remembered that yesterday that actually the my zoom on the trackpad okay it needs to move over like do oh no what did come you back do? i just okay minimized it needs to move over like try that and one just add a one to the end yes all right do shit six then or four uh, then okay that, that looks, looks right. right and do eight point four eight all right it's pretty looks good looks right Looking good enough. Why is it, is it? Why is there like an edge still? That there's little like, chunk sticking out. There's like a brighter line. Is that just the edge of the shape itself? Why is there like this? Mm -hmm. I think it just looks a little crazy when you're like surrender. staring at it from. Okay. An absolutely I unrealistic. I think it's good. Realistic, yeah. I think it's good. Move Marta before you forget. Grab that rect. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Go find the exotype. Make a copy of the exotype if you haven't already. I did disable this, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it was grayed out. It's harder to tell with the blue ones, but yeah, you're right. Stupid. Uh, eh. Turn you off. Bolt. And then grab you. Nope, not the camera. Nope, you click the power under just so you know. Oh, is that still active? Is that not? No, I think you can just. No, you can it. just click on the individual tiles. Yeah. You did it again. That's fine. <laughs> Why do you know? Okay. Okay, I said it's just the edge of the shape because there's that line on there too. You are on the tile map. You are on the tile map. There you go. Nope. Oh, that's too interesting. Seventeen eight. point something. Six. Four point nope. five. No, it's gonna be three point something. Point nine. Eight. Eight. I think is right. It's close. Yeah. Let's go with scoot and this over. Seven point five or seven maybe or seven. No, I meant for the desk, but that's fine. Oh, hold on. Let's let's, let's dial this one in first. Let's drag it down. That is lower. Yeah. Five. Four point eight. No. There you go. Four point eight seems. Be right. Seven. Six. There you go. Perfect. No, it's still like the smallest fraction off it right there. Which way? Can it looks okay not? to me. Hmm. But you tell me. <laughs> I think it's just the line is fucking me up. That lighter line that's on the bottom. It still looks like off on its side. You can probably look great. Hold V and grip to grab and snap to a vertex. I think the vertex is. Yeah, that, right. Hey, how's it going? Oh, man, all kinds of people in here. Hello, everybody. Uh, Shifting sprites very slowly. I think the vertexes the, might be too big for these minute. Um, yeah, I'm not actually sure. That's an excellent question that I do not have the answer to. But thank you for the tip. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm like. <laughs> single pixel movement. <laughs> <laughs> so, you um, know. Is that Ozark? Ozark. As I say, is that an O? It looks like a C. Uh, and ju and Justin. How's it going, guys? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we're working on video games, sort of. Um, all right, well, let's run the scene again just to make uh, sure. Not from here, though. Yeah, right. you got to go back to the title so it spins everything up. I mean, you can run it from there if you want errors. And it should be very mad at you. Uh, okay, so the repositioning her worked fine, which makes you sense. Went through the pipe, no problem. Uh, you're testing a boss fight right now. Um, 
jumping still working. Yep, he's still doing that loop as expected. Still doing things. Doing some stuff. Still spitting out stuff. Again, Fantastic. we're going to change that at some point, but the goal was to get him to spit out something, so... All right, I would say that's pretty... I'm going to call that a pretty successful update. Everything is working as expected. Again, I still think I really like the... Um, so do you have any other thoughts on the... Oh, I forgot I need to move that. Mm. Move this. And, uh, oh no, oh, now, now I'm getting myself stuck. It. Yep, there, there it is. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that in a second. And um, <laughs> I need to update the, some of the other code, too, for the new... To, the, to, to put the other stopper in here when you enter the room, like mm. the other boss fights have. Um... You can technically sure exit the level. I'm sure there's plenty the other right here. Collider you're... for Let's go over here. I think it'll. For the exit I think it'll air out because I um. Outside of that. Yeah, I think I think it'll air out because I didn't update some other stuff too. But... I love airing out. No, not quite. No, it go, worked. Look at okay, that. Never mind. Got him. Um. Oh, I didn't oh. play it again that quickly. Now you've it's done gonna it. freak out. Okay. Um. Move the cork. The what now? Oh yes. <laughs> I was like, excuse me. <laughs> The who? You heard me. What did sir? you what did you call me? Sir, this is a Wendy's. How dare you? Sometimes they just last um, week. I forget. Is it it's just called cork or I'm pretty sure it might be called Try to just clock. click on it, but uh, Yeah, it's I not gonna work. Selecting the thing. I couldn't tell you where it is. I don't remember if it's actually something else. Sure hope not. Oh, it is. It's it's childed to this shit. Because it deletes it on the end of the fight. Cork block. There it is. Okay. I don't know if I should unchild it or not. For right. now, I guess I'm not gonna. I'll try holding the EDC. Oh. oh I freaked uh, out. You've got the, nope, nope, no, don't no. want to do that. That's bad. And that was a bigger, that was a pretty big snap. Yeah, like you said, I think just the sizing of everything is too yeah, weird Yeah, we're working here on for... a fairly small scale. Now you've done it. Still a good uh, note. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. It is technically in the way. I don't think Marna can get past that. Yeah, we, but... can, we can do better than that. Just, like, scooch it forward a little bit. I mean, I would have just dragged it. This isn't like. I guess you're right. Small. It doesn't really need to be. That's basically fine. There you go. Uh, actually, just for the sake of, let's get it in there further past the um, like corner. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. Unless, do you want it to be more lined up with the other color pipe for no, visual purposes? It doesn't matter. Okay. I, if you dis deselect it, mm -hmm. I want to see it without that green outline around it. No, don't oh. just click somewhere. It literally helps. You could pull it down a little bit because it's a little high um, in there. Nope. Okay. Still no. If it's ever orange, you've got the wrong thing. Might be too much. That might be good. Somewhere else. Now it's really low. No. 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 <laughs> no. There you go. You think that moves it down? Hmm. Looks about right. Let's see what happens on that one. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Good stuff. Wahoo. All right, cool. Delightful. Yes, I did specifically name that object. It's cork oh. block for a reason. <laughs> because it's funny. <laughs> I'm funny. <laughs> um, all right. It's actually a lie, but I think uh, I'm annoying is what I actually am. So like I said, I'm willing to um, straight up delete this now. Call it a day unless we... Decide yeah. to roll back because I, I I don't think we'll need to. I don't think so either. Unless we find it just like somehow really unfun. Um, yeah, and like I said, I I like it better. I just I want I want you to 
I'll be in there mixing it up, fighting a frog. <laughs> um, get scrappy. Did some work on this. Uh, we'll keep this in mind. Uh, we'll revisit the hitbox thing later, and obviously all his kind of damage and stuff, all his mm -hmm. tuning. Um, as we kind of iterate on this fight a little bit more. Um, Big progress though. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Do you have any other thoughts, Lorraine? I've never had a thought before in my life, so it's hard to say. Okay. Not sure if anyone's still here, but <laughs> if anyone has any questions or comments on uh, game stuff, we try to do this every Saturday. Um, which, like, God willing, we still will. At least, or at least once a week, if not uh, Saturdays when Lorraine's work schedule changes a little. But um, I think that'll call it. That'll be it for uh, today. Honestly, big um, success. Streaming room realignment is better. So much. Said I do. The, the other camera still bugs me. I might look into replacing that sooner rather than later. I mean, we've had these cameras for like yeah. well, the, the <laughs> thing is that Microsoft that. one, the one that is pointed at the green screen that's not active mm -hmm. right now, it still works really, really well. But when you have <laughs> two of the same, yeah, right. I should device. try. I should try to update OBS and see if it's better in, in like a slightly more recent version. Our oh, version wow. of o OBS is more up to date than Unity, but it's still mm. probably a year old. <laughs> They've had a lot of updates. But um, but yeah, when you when I've tried to connect two identical optical devices, like two physically manufactured of the same USB device to OBS, it tends to freak the fuck out and not know that they're different objects, like that they're different things connected to the computer. Whereas if I connect two unaffiliated brands of like webcam, mm -hmm. it'll be like, oh, those are the USB information says these are two different products, so I will treat them accordingly. What are you doing? He's being a dumb. Our cat's being a dumb. She's being um, very dumb. But she's like wrapped in cords right now. This new microphone seems to be working. I'm pretty pleased about that. A lot of good stuff today. It's a good day. Um, Yay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Lorraine, for hanging out with me and working on Down the Drain. Thank you, Colette, for mostly being good. Mm -hmm. um, thank you, Internet, for hanging out. Uh, thank you for hot tips in the chat. Uh, we very, mu very much appreciate it. Our cat's yeah, screaming fine. up a storm. She do that sometimes. Um, let me see if I can Lion King her to the nope. shot. Nope, she's gonna run. Not if I stop her. <laughs> there we go. Got ah, her. yes. I have Glad a baby. Acquired. I have a baby and she's not happy. Okay, not. go on, baby. <laughs> Unhappy babies need the most attention. <laughs> all right, so with all that said, I'll be back with more game design stuff on the weekends, usually. Wow. Um, about two weeks from now. Maybe exactly two weeks from now. Um, gonna try to raid in Destiny. That'll be fucking nuts. The fifth is that raid day? Yeah. Yep, that's the um, one. And other than that, <laughs> we'll be just doing other stuff on the internet. Uh, so thank you so much for hanging out. We will catch you next time. Yeah. Uh, have a good afternoon, internet. Bye. Oh, oh, the wrong mouse. I did it. Ah, he did it. Yay. Luckily, right at the end. That's not the mouse. This is the mouse. Got him. Uh, there we go. So long, everybody. Bye.